Come All right, on. another sign that fall is approaching. Yes, the return of the NFL. It kicks off Thursday night. So for a look at what we need to know as we head into week one and beyond. Yeah, football's back. TSN's Dave Naylor joining us this morning. Dave, this is an exciting week for football fans. As much as the CFL is a great sport, so many people in Canada are also focused, of course, what's happening with the NFL. So we've got the Chiefs, of course, uh, coming back. Uh, you know, a lot of people looking at that. They're kicking off the season this week. What's happening with Kansas City right now? Because a lot of people have them as one of the top picks to win the Super Bowl this year. Yeah, and I think th this comes in a year where they lost a lot of talent. I mean, when you have one of the things that you see in the NFL is when you get a quarterback on a rookie contract and then you've got to elevate that player and pay him market value, you've got to shed a lot of talent off the roster. That's what the Kansas City Chiefs had to do a year ago. So they weren't necessarily the sexy pick a year ago. It was like, okay, they got some holes to fill. You can't just do it with Patrick Mahomes and Chris Jones and Travis Kelsey. Well, it turns out you can. I mean, there's a lot of other pieces. And, and certainly backfilling with younger players and playing rookies is a big part of what allows teams to kind of stay successful in the NFL when the economics of their team change. You've got a very similar situation in Philadelphia this year coming off a Super Bowl that they played in against Kansas City. Their quarterback, Jalen Hurts, was on one of those rookie contracts. Now he's making a mega contract, so they're going to play a bunch of rookies this year. But you know, I think people have learned to you know, look past the Chiefs. And, and Patrick Mahomes is a generational talent. I mean, he's not just yeah. the best player in the league. Yeah, he's, he's, he's entering the conversation still early in his career. You know about some one of some of the best players ever to play the position. Yeah, he's so unique. I mean, his ability to you know use his legs and his arm is pretty remarkable out there on the gridiron. So we'll be looking for more on that. In the meantime, of course, Dave, a lot of fans in and around here are Buffalo Bills fans. Uh, the Bills, you know, they've got one of the best quarterbacks in the league as well. They've also got Demar Hamlin coming back from that awful uh, you know collapse midfield here. How are the Bills looking in the preseason? What's their season shaping up like? You know, I feel like everybody's overlooking the Bills. That, you know, last year they were the sexy pick. They were the betting favorites. They opened on Thursday night in Los Angeles and they beat the Super Bowl champions in their stadium mm -hmm. handily. Uh, and, and this was, you know, the Bills were supposed to be the team, but they had a, you know, they had a lot of things happen. Josh Allen had an elbow injury during the year. Von Miller was lost for the year. The whole DeMar Hamlin situation, I think, was very hard for the team to keep its focus on football. And they ultimately, got what they wanted, which was, you know, a home playoff game for Cincinnati, but they didn't win it. And now it feels like everybody's looking past Buffalo. You know, mm. this is a team that lost three regular season games last year by eight points. And yet you listen to the conversation, you think they had a lousy year. Uh, one of the things the Bills have tried to do this year, I think, is start to develop their own Travis Kelsey. They drafted a tight end, Dalton Kincaid, in the first round. This was the deepest tight end draft we've ever seen perhaps in NFL history. He was the first tight end off the board. They're going to run a lot of two tight end offense this year and try to provide that dimension that you see Kansas City having with Travis Kelsey. They're going to try, try to develop Dalton Kincaid into their own Travis Kelsey, although that may be you know, a pretty high mark to shoot for. Yeah, everybody wants a Travis Kelsey. There's no doubt about that, Dave. Before we let you go, got about 30 seconds left. You talk about football. A lot of people talk about fantasy as well. Uh, what's shaking out on the fantasy side of NFL this year? Well, I think a lot of the intrigue is just looking at quarterbacks that have moved teams or quarterbacks that are bouncing back in years. I mean, you know, I'll just throw a couple of them out there. You know, Russell Wilson, who was a fantasy guy that everybody used to like when yeah. he was in Seattle. He goes to Denver last year, and he has a terrible year. Is he done? Is he a guy you can still resurrect? You look at Sean Payton's their new head coach. He thinks he can unlock him. There's one. And then, of course, I'll go to Aaron Rodgers, another guy coming yes. off a down year. So many consistently good years in, in Green Bay. The end of the string there. Now he goes from the NFL's smallest market to its biggest market. How is he going to respond to the New York stage? Those are two quarterbacks I think fantasy players have to make decisions about. After down years, are they, are they poised for bounce backs? Right. Okay. Well, we are now ready for some football. TSN's Dave Naylor getting us in that state. Thanks for talking, Dave. We'll talk soon. Take care. My pleasure.